welcome to Aerial Edge TV and uh, welcome also to Brazil. Hi there, my name is Mark Gibson. I run Aerial Edge, a circus school which is based in Glasgow in Scotland. And we wanted to show you a little bit more about the world of circus and video seemed the natural medium to be able to do that. So the idea behind Aerial Edge TV was born. We're going to be showing you some things about what's going on in Aerial Edge in Scotland, but uh, also we're going to be showing you things from other parts of the world too. Currently, I'm here in Florianopolis, which is an island off of the coast of Brazil, and uh, that's around about 450 miles south of um, Sao Paulo, and about 750 miles south of Rio de Janeiro. The main reason I'm here in Brazil is to come and work with Circacan. Circacan is a Brazilian-based circus school with two locations, one here in Florianopolis, and another about four hours north of here in Curitiba. In the last couple of weeks that I've been in Brazil, I've been uh, keeping myself relatively busy, helping out with uh, Circa Can's end of year show, uh, being part of the uh, postgraduate degree program, and uh, also taking part in uh, the Christmas celebrations in the city, as well as becoming one of um, Santa's elves for a day. But uh, more of that another time. Just before the end of uh, November, we had Aerial Edge's first scratch night, so let's have a look at uh, some of the highlights from that. Our thanks to everyone who took part in that event. We'll be having several more of those throughout the year. The next one which will be happening right up towards the beginning of March. During December we had um, Colin Stone from STV's Riverside Show. And uh, he was coming to try out Teeterboard with uh, Sam and Ted at the Brigate. Let's look and see how he got on. What is he up to tonight? Let's cross over to him live at the Brigate to find out more. Well, David, as you say, after weeks of Christmas light switches on and trolley dashes, I've gone back to finding incredible things for you to do in this city. And behind me is teeterboarding. That's Ted and Sam from Aerial Edge, which is Glasgow's own circus school. Who knew? And we're at a warehouse in the back of the Brigade. So we'll be finding out more about Aerial Edge later on. And then, yes, I will be having a go at that, although I will be in harness. I think it's for the best that he's in a harness. That looks dangerous. Know, and a helmet. Yikes. Uh, uh, yeah, so. Oh, well, there was big padded mats, I'm sure yeah. it'll be fine. What could possibly go uh, wrong? <laughs> so, uh, here on the Riverside Show, we always like to give you some ideas of what you can get up to in your okay. spare time. And when I say we, I really mean Colin. That's true. Mm. Colin is in the Brigate tonight to try teeterboarding. It's not very festive, Colin, is it? 
Well, no, but it's a great way of keeping in shape ahead of the festive season. And here to tell me more about what on earth they're doing behind me is Seamus Clancy from Aerial Edge. Now, first of all, what is Aerial Edge? Uh, so Aerial Edge is a circus school that operates in Glasgow. Um, we offer all kinds of different disciplines, uh, mainly aerial, which is where the name comes from, uh, covering trapeze, silks, hoop, um, all kinds of different things. You might have seen a lot on BBC Tumble, actually. Uh, <laughs> sorry to name drop it. Um, but yeah, so we operate on that kind of that kind of level, um, and we're also a performance company as well within and, Glasgow. And what is the teacher boarding specifically? Okay, so the teacher boarding is uh, it's an acrobatic discipline. It combines elements from aerial as well, actually. Uh, obviously, we send people into the air, as you can see in the background. Um, and yeah, I believe we're the only company in Scotland offering seat board as well. Fantastic. So. Now, I've just seen Sam there launch himself off the board. Now, I'm going to give this a try. We have had some prizes off camera, so fingers crossed it won't be that bad. Let me just hand the mic off here. OK, so Sam here has been teaching me some moves. We'll see how this goes. We're going to take it slow to start with. So that's how, in the space of just half an hour, I've managed to pick up some of the teacher boarding skills. And of course, let's see how it's meant to be done by the professionals. We've got Sam and Ted here. Take it away, guys. That's incredible. Seamus, can I bring you back in? How long does it take to, to get to that sort of level? Uh, these boys have been working with each other for about six to eight weeks. Uh, I mean, that's solid training. That's not, you know, one Monday every week. Um, so yeah, all right, you know, it depends how much time you've got to put towards it, you know? And what kind of level am I at? Do you think I can join the circus yet? Uh, yeah, give it a couple <laughs> of weeks and we can get you there. Yeah. Fantastic, that's Seamus Clancy from Aerial Edge, Glasgow's own circus school. And uh, as Sam and Ted teeter board in the background, wow, I can only dream of being at that level. A bit more practice, and we'll see if we can get there. Back to you. Thanks, Colin. That was like extreme seesawing, really, Looks wasn't it? Looks pretty dangerous. It was. I was worried for it. I was a bit concerned as well, but everyone managed <laughs> to get it unscathed. No, it looks brilliant. Very cool. Colin Stone there, taking to teeterboard very well, especially as it's his first lesson with uh, Sam and Ted. So um, Sam and Ted will be teaching in 2015, but also we're bringing up the Sibling Alliance for uh, some more teeterboard weekend workshops too. One of the things I went to visit uh, this year was Circa Can's Circa Fit program, and uh, been speaking to uh, Pedro Melo e Cruz, um, who's going to tell us a little bit more um, about what Circa Can are doing in that area. So I'm here with uh, Pedro, who is the director of Circa Can, to tell us a little bit about his Circus Fitness program. Well, Mark, we developed Circa Fitness as a program to bring to Brazilian audience uh, something that could change their idea of circus. Circus in Brazil still doesn't have a really good image on how you can develop, how you can have a career with circus. So we thought about something that could bring people into circus, into get passionate about circus, and seeing circus as an option to develop their lives, their physical conditioning, uh, their skills, their mind, and we develop Circa Fitness as a program to work with basics for circus. We don't develop, we don't really deep on technique. We'll give the basic technique for developing their body, their mind, and preparing them. If they want to get deeper on circus later on, they're ready to go for trapeze, they're ready to go to silks, they're ready to go tumbling or acrobalance, whatever. The parts of the program that you have, could you take us just through some of the components that make it up, please? Yes, yeah, so basically we start the first part of the class, there'll be like half hour working their cardio. So we work with uh, lower body, legs, calves, feet, posture with legs, and also working their, their, their cardio. So the idea is to bring their heart ratio really high. 
and working their legs. And then the second part we go mostly for the strength exercises, so silks, trapeze, uh, working a little bit abs and developing their the strength, the pure strength. So if people want to go on from CircaFit onto uh, other things, how do they do that? Yeah, usually we take students when they're beginners, we take them at least three months for circle fitness. And then after their third month, they can apply for tumbling or acrobatics or hand-to-hand -hand or trapeze or silks. Anything but flying trapeze. Flying trapeze is open at any level. But usually for the most more technique classes, we do three, at least three months of circle fitness. Pedro, thank you. Thank you, Mark. And now for the latest news and updates. In the new year, we're introducing two new classes. We've got Hula Hoop with Shona Conacher who um, was in the CYC, that's the Commonwealth Youth Circus. Hula Hoop is great for working on your isolation, coordination, and also great for core conditioning. The second class is a movement vocabulary class run by Scott Houston, um, which is going to help you develop um, your practice using a variety of different tools, so think improving your aerial and ground-based performance skills. Next latest update is in the new year we will also have a brand new reception area right over there. It's going to have a telephone, a coffee machine, we're going to have merchandise being sold, we're going to have a receptionist, it's going to be the bomb. So the most exciting news that we have for our students this month is our January Fitness Pass. This is a £50 pass which you can use for the whole of January and it's going to give you access to not only the ground-based classes, the acro classes, but also circus fitness. So that gives you acrobats, acrobatics, handstands, flexibility, trampolining, and circus fitness. That's six classes, 50 quid for the whole month. It's an amazing deal. And that was the news from on high. This is Jamie Lee McNaughton, over and out. Our thanks to everyone who contributed to this episode of Aerial Edge TV. If you want to get more information or more episodes, go to aerialedge.tv. And uh, if you want to take part in any of our classes, you can link through from there to aerialedge.co.uk and see more of the different things that will be uh, running in the new year. Thank you very much for listening.